Welcome back to SOS and BA. I've got this cold steel Spetsna style shovel. It's also known as the Special Forces shovel. And I wanted to show you today why I think it's awesome. And it should be added to a bug out bag. But wait, there's more. Because I'm giving one away. And I wanted to share that with you guys. spot right here there we go I'll use this as my spot but you can use this as a digging tool right to dig small areas you can also there's other options for this as well as you can extend the handle you change out the handle by using something longer that you can find on a tree and trim it down to fit these angles and slide it right in and you've got yourself a long handled version so digging you can stand upright instead of crotched over now you can let me grab something else use you find something in an elbow shape like this and you cut it down into this same angle here and which is on this one you can uh make yourself a a hoe to to dig out areas as well make make life a little bit easier for entrenching now some might wonder I figured uh, teach another hip pocket real quick while i'm doing this instead of just talking about a shovel the whole time is backdrops like this and someone had asked me and i, I was going to do just a video on this topic but someone asked me about making fires that don't emit smoke and if you don't want to you don't want a lot of smoke you want minimal smoke then you could make a smaller fire because what you could do the other the other option for for less smoke is a backdrop you need a backdrop on your fire and it prevents smoke so if you it kind of directs it in a certain angle that's the reason why uh smoke travels towards objects and it's kind of like when you sit around a campfire in your chairs your lawn chairs drinking your your Coors Light or whatever the smoke tends to get, travel towards you that's the reason why is because it travels up walls so if you build a wall to make the smoke have a direction that that smoke will go towards the wall and go up so and away from you so if you're sitting here and that's just one way to make a directional smoke instead of having it go towards your face but <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with shovels, but uh, let's get back to it. I was saying that's a good, that's a good clean fire. It's not a lot of smoke, and the smoke's gradually going up. So, what smoke there is? It's 
say we put some more lint on it. You want some more lint? Mm -hmm. I say we get this uh get this cooking excursion going. Hungry. You got something for me? Well, I was thinking because I got these uh I got a few of these large eggs. And you wanna you wanna butter this up? I'm gonna get it kind of warm. If you don't mind putting a little butter on it. You gonna butter me up, babe? Sweet. I like butter. They haven't been slaughtering hogs or any crazy animals with that thing, have you? Oh, uh, just rabbit chinchillas. I don't want to worry about worms. Rabbit chinchillas were, <laughs> were coming at me. Do they do they have a lot of worms yeah. and chinchillas? Uh, I don't think so. Were they on your list of of funky animals? No, just you and raccoons. Okay. All right. So you can use the side here. Assuming. There we go. It's hard to do this one handed, but we got this. It's just not an egg without hot sauce. Woo! All it's right. bubbling. Alright, babe, you want to mix it up? Mix that hot sauce into it. I like that tapatio. Oh, cool. Nice. It's pretty sweet, man. Still got a nice clean fire. Still doing just like I said. Uh, now, I'm not a scientist or anything, so I can't explain it, but I do know that if you're going to cook in SHTF during the day, you're not going to want a lot of smoke, and it's the only way you can get away with that. You don't dig a hole. I mean, you always see folks dig a hole. <laughs> it's the first thing that they do. You need uh, just a flat surface, kind of break it up, move some of the wet stuff. Anything damp, you can't have damp leaves and stuff dry tender and you'll be all right we'll make some toast after this we need bacon oh man we get some bacon it's frozen oh uh, well so we get for not roughing it i should kill a wild hog mm -hmm. like lord of the flies yep Smells pretty good. Mm-hmm. Well. Anyways, this is going to be the shovel I do for the Patreon giveaway. I've got to customize it. Once I'm done customizing it, I'll be giving it away. So, someone lucky out there will get this shovel with the custom artwork I do to it, and also a uh, custom sheath. And the sheath will, uh, uh, the sheath for it will also be, uh, uh, it'll have a detachable type ordeal for bushcrafting and stuff like that, so. I should have it finished in a couple of weeks. I figured I would show kind of some uses for this thing before. And as you can see, I'm I'm cooking eggs. I could leave this, you know what I mean? I could lay this on a rock or something, but eggs don't take very long to cook, so. All right. I had to flip it. I just, I tossed it in the air. You didn't catch it on camera. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not that cool and slick. Anyway. Alright, hey. Go ahead and, uh, you got the toast? Because I'm gonna, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I wouldn't, because, <laughs> uh, you could just use stick for toast. Mm hmm. I think that egg's good. Yep. So, so let me take that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you almost lost it there. Alright, put the bread on there. 
right. And I'm just gonna make some toast. I'll be back in a minute. Also used as an alternative weapon. You can throw it and kill someone that way. Same technique as throwing an axe. You're going to put, it's going to be straight out, let it drop into your, into your hands like this and bring it down, up. I would have kept filming outside, but Sippy came out there and peed on the fire. Made a big mess of the place. You know, I'm always cleaning up your fires. <laughs> Eat your sandwich. <laughs> anyway, uh, please like, share the video, and uh, share with your friends. Let people know. Come over on Patreon. Come check us out. I'm getting back into my normal routine. My, uh, uh, I'm not traveling to an emergency room in random trash like that. So. Looks like uh, looks like I have a clean bill of health, bill of health, and I'm back to normal. So it's time to get back to work on on some videos. All right, God bless you guys and take care.